Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be creating this fun chocolate three tier cake decorated with a chocolate border. I have a four inch, a six inch and an eight inch cake that I'm working with for this project. They are only single cakes that I've baked in three inch tall cake tins. So I just cut them in half and filled them. They're already crumb coated. Here I'm applying the final layer of frosting in buttercream. There is a recipe in the eye icon up top if you'd like to check it out. And I've tinted it orange because I'm going to be going over with gold dust. Basically, whatever edible luster dust you choose to use, make sure that the buttercream is the same color or as close to it as possible. The very bottom tier will remain a chocolate buttercream. Pop them all into the fridge and allow them to rest for about an hour if you can, or in the freezer for 20 minutes. By this point, your buttercream should be nice and firm on the outside and you can just go over the top with a brush and edible gold luster dust. Here I've used the Rolkem Super Gold. I used it for the four inch top tier, the six inch middle tier. And just picking up any dust on the glad wrap that I have underneath the cake board and dabbing it back onto the cake. Pop them back into the fridge and then add four bubble tea straws or wooden dowels into the base of your uh, eight inch cake. Make sure you cut it flush with the top and then stick on your six inch middle tier. It's a good idea to apply a little bit of buttercream underneath, but I completely forgot. And then I'm applying another three dials into that six inch to support the weight of our four inch cake tier. Here I did remember to apply a little bit of buttercream to stick it on top. And there is a cake board underneath the four inch and the six inch. The straws are pressing up against that cake board. Take some baking paper that has been cut into panels taller than each tier and drizzle over the top some dark chocolate. Compound chocolate like Nestle works really well for this project. You want to remove it quickly from where it was and replace and just kind of place it down somewhere else so that the edges are nice and sharp and clean. And then wait for the chocolate to lose a little bit of its gloss but still remain nice and flexible. Drape it around your cake and then gently kind of pressing it onto the buttercream. I recommend working from the smallest tier, so the top tier downwards. I kind of had to squeeze it in between here. I kind of wish I'd started with a four inch. You know, I'm making all the mistakes in this one so you don't make it in yours. But anyway, allow them to rest until the chocolate has completely solidified. You can even pop it in the fridge to help it along the way. And then very gently removing the baking paper. If you remove the baking paper on the four inch first, it um, just allows the middle tier to be a little bit less fragile <laughs> if you do what I did and accidentally apply the middle one first. For the base tier, we are going in with dark chocolate ganache. Here I've got just a, a little makeshift pipe and bag with baking paper and I'm working my way around. I'll have the recipe card for that as well if you'd like to make some ganache. And then decorate as you please. Here I have some strawberries that have been cut into slithers and also in half. I have blueberries and edible gold drickies that I've added too. But tiny flowers like violas would really pop on this cake as well. And that's it. That's how you make a really fun chocolate decorated cake with the fun chocolate border. If you recreate this, I would love to see it. Hashtag Rosie's Dessert Spot so I can check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more cake decorating tutorials and we'll catch you again in the next one.